Hey golfers, in this next video I'll be talking about chest movement in golf swing. Keep watching. Hi, it's Troy from HittingItSolid.com here. Thanks for watching. So I'm going to be talking about chest movement in golf swing. Now before I dive in, a quick thank you to my new sponsor Echo Golf who make these fantastic golf shoes. Make sure you check them out, link is in the description. Now I'm going to be talking about the chest movement in the golf swing. So obviously this is a huge key, not just the back swing but the down swing. Let's dive in. Alright, let's look at the chest movement in golf swing. Let's start with the back swing here. So if I'm set up to one here, what I'd like to see you do as you make your back swing, now you see it's set up here, I'm slightly tilted over, I will show you this from the other angle. What I like to do in my back swing, as I make my takeaway and get up to the top, I like to have my chest pointing away from the target. That's a, a great position for me. Now, depending on your flexibility, how far you can turn, and I'm going to come up with a few, show you a few different ways you can do this, but I'd like to see you get that chest pointing away from the target in this direction here. Now, where a lot of golfers get into problems with this is they try to cheat the backswing, and it might look something like this where they come to here, they might make a pretty good takeaway, but then they just throw the arms up there and and think they've made a backswing. Now and you can see in this position here, my chest is still pointing out this way. I haven't rotated properly or even made a proper turn at all. So ideally, I'd like to have your chest pointing away from the target at the completion of that backswing pointing this way. So from down the line, here's our takeaway, here's our backswing, chest pointing down towards the camera in this position here. Now, the reason this is so key is the chest really leads the way to your golf swing. You can use it as a guide to see if you're on track. But the problem is a lot of golfers, they leave out one important key or even two if you like, where they get off track with this chest position. As they get to here in the takeaway, a lot of golfers, I see this happening all the time, they'll, they'll stand up, get really tall, and they may have made a, pro a full turn and the chest pointing this way, but the problem is they've stood right up, chest is really pointing way up high here, and they've lost that, that beautiful tilt they had at address, that posture that they had. Instead of turning like this, they'll turn like this. And yes, they've made their full swing, but they've come out of posture, they've gotten taller, they're further from the golf ball, and it makes it really difficult to then get down to the golf ball in the downswing. You've got to make compensations and the swing becomes a lot more difficult. So with this chest, super key that you maintain those tilts that you had. You need to turn and tilt at the same time, chest away from the target in the back swing. All right, let's look at the downswing. Now, if you unable to get your chest fully turned from the target due to maybe an injury or a flexibility issue, there's some things that you can do. And I've spoken about these before in other videos, but at your setup, one of the easiest things you can do or the, the quickest ways of, of doing it is to flare out that right foot or your rear foot, depending on what side, of, if you're a lefty or a righty. This is the same for a driver or an iron, makes no difference. Flare that, that right foot out a bit more and also, and this will enable you to turn your hips more. When you can turn your hips more, you can make an easier backswing and get into this nice backswing position. And we've got our chest pointing away from the target there. So just by flaring out that right foot, that will help you get that chest in a great spot. Now, you don't want to turn it too much because it will make it a little bit more challenging on the downswing, but certainly will help you out in the backswing. Now, the other thing you can do is you can raise that, that lead heel off the ground. So that'll look something like this. And what that does is it enables the hips to rotate more and get that chest pointing away from the target. So from towards the camera, Just enables you to really free up those hips, get them rotating more, 
just remember flare out that right foot or that rear foot lift that lead heel off the ground you'll be able to get that chest moving great in your backswing the chest movement in downswing for me is really key and this is where so many golfers get off track in their swing so i'm set up to one here what i'd like to see you do in your downswing as we get to the top I'd like you to really feel like that chest is really pointing down towards the golf ball or towards the ground as you come into your downswing. This is the same for your driver and your irons. We don't want to be coming down and lifting up, having a chest pointing way up high here. You get further away from the golf ball, brings a lot more timing issues into it with your, with your hands and wrists. You can get away to it to a point with your driver, but with your irons, really need to keep that chest down keep it down after you hit the golf ball then eventually it'll extend and stand up like that so from down the line view really key you maintain those tilts that nice angle you had it set up feel like that right shoulder stays low chest is down got that nice tilt in our shoulders and we're not standing up like this, we're not lifting up with the chest pointing way up here. Chest is down towards the ground and then it extends up long after we've hit the golf ball. So let's look at a great way how you can practice this and get this nailed into your golf game. Now really quickly, something I forgot to mention, with the chest, the way it rotates in the downswing as it's pointing down, it will lag behind those hips. The hips will start first in the downswing. They'll begin to rotate as the chest does, but the chest, it will gradually catch up as we're rotating through. The chest is pointing down. The chest will keep rotating. It will catch up to the hips. A lot of really good players even have it equal with the hips, the amount of degrees it's open at impact, but it will be rotating it'll be catching up to the amount of rotation that the hips are at impact and then right at the finish your chest should be pointing out towards your target all right let's get into the next bit okay great way to practice this chest moving golf swing we don't actually need a club at all put that away i encourage you to use a mirror or video it's fantastic for getting a visual on what your chest is doing so if we set up to the ball here what i want you to do is get into your setup here both arms nice and straight i'm going to extend the trail arm right up top so we get back to our setup here as we make our back swing I'm going to make a turn we'll see our chest is pointing away from the target as i come down chest will be down down towards the ball and through to the finish. So from down towards the camera, and this really gives you the feel of what that chest is doing throughout the golf swing. The chest really leads the way in the golf swing. That's why it's so important. So let's, let's make our back swing. So we go back, chest is pointing away from the target like I talked about down swing chest staying down we're maintaining those tilts in our shoulders and through to the follow-through chest plays a super key role the chest movement so follow those through practice that at home that will improve your golf game no end now super important coming up i've got a video that talks about how to stop sliding in your golf swing now when you combine that with this chest movement that I've talked about, you'll play some fantastic golf. So make sure you watch that video, it's coming up. Do you wanna know how to make it even better golf swing? Click and watch the video on your screen now. It's going to go into more detail about how to stop sliding in the golf swing, which ties in really well with this video to help you make a great golf swing. Do you wanna know how to play even better golf? Consider subscribing to the channel. And remember, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know, I will get back to you. Thanks for watching, see you next time.